Last question on staff. All right, last question, guys. Um, why not take a risk on yourself? Ooh, let you start that off. He's blessed us with that. Why not? Guys, you know, <laughs> like we were talking about before, regret. I'd rather deal with the pain of failure than the pain of regret because you can't get that back. Taking a risk on yourself, if you don't take a risk on yourself, who will? Like, really, like, who will? Right. Because low key, I, I won't bet on anyone else more than I would on myself. 100%. Facts, 100%. Like, you could be the greatest at what you do, but it's not me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Not, not say I'm the best. But I'm not letting myself down. Right, right. right. You might want to fail, yeah. and it's not has to affect you, so you might just fail. Mm-hmm. But with me, nah. I can hug my own L. Yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah. Like it's not, it's yeah. not my business. Yeah. It's not my problem. Right, right. Facts. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think, I think people don't take the risk again because what we were talking about initially is um is fear. Like, and you know, I think we'll get to that eventually in these conversations. But fear. I, I, uh, I don't know if you guys read uh, 50's book or listened to the audio. Yeah. 50, blog. Yo, yeah. 50, 50 yeah. made a good point and it resonates with me. 50 talks about fear and how you gotta embrace it. Yeah. Bring it in. Yeah. yeah. Hug it. Yeah. Love it. Like, you mm-hmm. know, and, and like understand, like, yo, I'm gonna fail and I, how am I just gonna overcome it? And understand, like, I could be scared of something, but how am I gonna do it? Like, you know what I mean? How am I gonna just get over that? And figure it out because it's like every time anything you do in life you're gonna be afraid of right. but i think a lot of people are so afraid of being afraid that they're just like yo i can't do it and yeah. i'm not gonna take a risk on right. myself because again it goes back to society and it goes back to culture your group of friends the the ridicule the disrespect people making fun of you like i think that's all those things that play but, but you know what's funny all those things are true to a certain degree but then people focus on that instead of like okay what if you're actually good at this what if we actually kill it? What Fact. if we actually make way more money than you intend to? What if you actually change lives? What if you actually, like, you know, we're so pessimistic in our, we, we yeah. gravitate towards all the things that negatively could happen that we forget like, yo, shit, this could actually work. Right. You know what I mean? And it's funny thing with fear though. When we say we're afraid or people are scared, it's like the risk, I think it's like, it's more riskier not to try. Facts. Because you can never win if you never try. You can't, like it's mathematically yeah. impossible. Right? <laughs> it can't happen. That's fact. Right, so it's like, nah, like I, I feel when people are scared, like yo, like your fears are in a sense legit to a certain degree, but like, and so what? So now what? Yeah, right. just to even put there, nobody has ever been a millionaire without thinking about being a millionaire. Yeah, it even, don't have- even if you even if you won the lottery, right? Bro, you thought you about still it. thought about it, right? 100. 100. So like the fact that you you think you're gonna be a millionaire without or, or extremely successful without doing absolutely nothing, not even thinking about it, is absolutely impossible. Right? Like it's never ever happened. And I think again, I think you know, I don't want to keep bringing them up, but we go back to Kanye. Kanye th- speaks things into existence. Mm. People could talk about the fact that he talks crazy in, in regards to political things and whatever. He's, but when he says things, <laughs> he actually goes and he does it. You know, you know he's <laughs> literally show like, bro, that 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 thing right there is like, excuse me, like, he's he's like he's like three for three. Like, right. he's he's literally everything he said he was gonna do, he did it and did it to the highest level. Well, and, I, and, and, and I think people people don't realize like you have to have that self confidence to what you're saying to, to go you know what there might be a, a chance that I, I I don't do well at this but I'm not gonna be able to to continue to navigate if I don't take a chance of at least trying right. you know what I mean you if you have any sort of dream or you have something you want to try you got to do it you just got to go do it you know what I mean I, great. I don't believe people when they when they use fear as an excuse yeah they don't want it bad enough. Yeah. So, like, really think about it. If you had to, if you had to go push this red button, or your mom dies, mm-hmm. and you say, oh, I'm "Scared like a trip, <laughs> fuck right. man, that's kind of icy outside." Like, are you really gonna make an excuse? You're just gonna go do it. Facts. You know what I mean? So, if you don't, if you don't want something bad enough, is, is your is your should a must? And even even the fact mm. that you guys have brought something that's been consistently talked about is. Somebody failing and caring what somebody else is gonna mm-hmm. think. I think the only reason why you're going to care about what other people think 
is because you still live in a world where other people's opinions matter. Mm. You haven't seen the true side of how people really are. Mm. For me, not even gonna lie, I've had moments where I've taken real L's in life, and when I took those L's, the people that said they were down were not around. In fact, nobody was that. around. Yeah. And then once you realize that, fuck, people ain't shit. <laughs> then you just kind of like you just deal with them the way you deal with them. Right. Once you realize there's nobody there when you had nothing, bro. Like literally, you're struggling, and there was only two people you could call. That moment does something magical for people. Because then it realized their opinion never even mattered in the first place. I'm, I'm glad you said that because I really started to realize, like, I think, again, it's a, it's an ideology, it's a mentality, and it takes time. It takes a journey, too, because I feel like you have to take some L's in life in order to get to the space that we're talking about. That 100%. We're at. And, but if you, but if you, if everything's a win for you, it's going to be hard for you to say, you know what, I want to do that, but... I know there's a chance I could lose. I'm not even betting people. You know that certain people only bet you certain scenarios when they know it. They guarantee the bag. They go, yo, 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 bet a hundred bucks that he makes that. When they know he's gonna make it, that's the only way. When a betting man will say, you know what? I bet on the guy that I don't think is gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And then he turns out to be right. And then people start to go, oh wow, like this person has a different kind of mentality. But I think I agree with you. Like I've been through a lot of scenarios where I've lost, bro. I've lost a lot of money. Lost friendships, <laughs> fucked up a lot of businesses, and I'm like, you know, I think you have to, you have to feel that pain, and you have to embrace the fear again. Yeah, embrace it. It's all part of it. It's funny you said something about like, um, like people, like in terms of being like they waiting for the right time and stuff like that too. And it's, it's crazy when I think of that. It's like I, I heard an analogy about like, say you want to get to point A to point B, and there's three traffic lights. But you'll never start driving until all are green. Yeah, yeah. How long will you be waiting? For <laughs> Forever. Bro. It's like, keep yeah. such a nine. You can't live your life like that. Go. If you get an L, stop. Rearrange yourself and then go again. You yeah, know what I mean? Going. So it's like, yeah, man. I, I I get it though. Like certain <laughs> circumstances, you feel a ways. You know what I mean? Especially when you try something that you are not even sure you can do, mm -hmm. and you're just kind of like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyways.